Hey, well, Brent, thank you for sitting down with me. We're here in Quebec City for the Seeds Canada annual conference. I want to do a little, something a little different today and ask uh, a few uh, short but interesting questions, kind of punchy. And the first one I had for you was, what industry term would you love to ban for a year just to see what happens? Right. It would probably be status quo. Mark, I think uh, the industry has spoken loudly, I think, in the last uh, couple of years that, that change is needed. And uh, so I think to be satisfied with a status quo would be uh, a step backwards for the industry. So we're looking to move things forward. We're looking to rely on innovation um, and have the, the regulatory framework such that uh, we can move things ahead. Status quo is, uh, is not in the cards. So status quo, like to have it not be an option at all. Correct. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's good advice, I think. And, and it kind of leads us to the next question I had, and I was hoping you could finish this sentence. The, the biggest threat to innovation in seed is? I would say the biggest threat to innovation in seed would be to not recognize the importance of paying the breeders. Um, I think in order for innovation to continue to, to come to the marketplace, breeders are going to have to be compensated so that they can continue and invest in their breeding activities. Um, and it's something that uh, we still have some work to do here in Canada. Active Ignite is an innovative canola and cereal inoculant that helps plant mitigate abiotic stresses like drought and heat, increases photosynthesis, and improves plant establishment and growth. Active Ignite harnesses the power of serendipita, a beneficial fungus that colonizes plant roots, triggering the plant's own biostimulant mechanism. In trial at 33 sites, Active Ignite improved canola yields by 2.4 bushels an acre and durum wheat by 3.5 bushels an acre. Active, designed by nature and perfected by science. And, and it sort of uh, speaks to the issue of uh, things that we're doing right, things that maybe we're not doing so right. And I'm curious, what's something that you secretly wish the industry would would stop pretending is working? Yeah, I think um, throughout this SRM process, uh, the industry uh, and the value chain members have provided feedback um, to the government that... Uh, uh, that we need to be more nimble, more agile in terms of the regulatory framework. And, and that's something that, that we're really anticipating when, when the, the policy paper is published for SRM, that it's going to demonstrate some, some advancements there. Um, but certainly making sure that we have the regulatory framework in place so that we can get innovation to the market as quickly as possible and so that Canadian farmers can be, you know, competitive on, on the global landscape. Now, I'm hoping you can imagine, Brent, that you've been given a, a golden microphone and you have the ability to broadcast one message across every Canadian farm. What do you say? You should be excited and optimistic that there's lots of innovation coming uh, on the seed front in Canada. I think we're, we're making some advancements in, in ways to get that technology to the marketplace quicker. Um, but I think there's still lots to come uh, from what's, what's either in or on the seed. And, uh, and that's something that I think everyone in the, in the rural communities should be looking forward to, that uh, technology, um, artificial intelligence, all of these digital tools, I think, are going to really, really change the way innovation is, uh, is made available at the farm gate. So, Brent, before I let you go, I just do want to talk a little bit about the conference. I'm curious, what's been the big headline moment from this conference in your eyes? The kind of takeaway that should have everyone in the seed industry sitting up straight? I heard the term, uh, be bold, uh, be courageous. Um, and, uh, I think, uh, Tyler McCann made some, some really good comments on, on, on day one regarding, you know, what, what we should be asking for from, from, from government, from, from the seed industry. Um, 
there's there's so much uh available to us now and uh and I think when 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 Tyler made those comments early on day one, I I felt that the conference pivoted a little bit, and I thought that people were, you know, they were thinking bigger and uh, realizing that uh, that the seed industry still has tremendous growth opportunities here in Canada. Was there a moment during the last two days, or even you know maybe beforehand, as you were preparing for the conference? where you thought, you know, this could change everything for the future of the seed sector. Is, was there something that stuck with you as, you know, a true inflection point? Yeah, I'll, I'll go back again to artificial intelligence and digital tools. Um, I think we're just at the cusp here. There's so many areas here where if you look ahead uh, 10 or 15 years, you can only imagine what digital tools are going to bring the seed industry specifically and, uh, and, and that there were some hints and inferences on that topic yesterday. Um, but that is just moving so quickly. And I think that's going to really, truly revolutionize the way that, uh, you know, true innovation is delivered to the farm. One last question. I want to talk seed reg mod, SRM, seed regulatory modernization. It's been simmering for, you know, five years now. Are we finally getting close to the boil? Or, you know, are we still stuck rearranging deck chairs? I mean, what's the real progress happening in your opinion? Yeah, I, I, I heard some things this morning. Uh, Wendy Yon from the CFIA spoke this morning and, and I was encouraged on, on what we can expect to see when the, when the policy paper is delivered here in the next week or so, I think. It's been, uh, it's been a long time in the making. Um, but what I saw this morning, I think we're, we're optimistic that there's going to be some some changes, some adjustments that make our, you know, our regulatory environment more nimble and agile in Canada. And uh, it's really, we're, we're asking for, you know, not just moving deck chairs around, we're asking for significant change. And uh, so we don't know what is coming in the policy paper, but as I said, I think there were enough comments made this morning that, uh, that uh, we're looking forward to seeing, uh, you know, some changes being delivered here shortly for, for, for Canadian growers. Yeah. Yeah. It's very exciting after five years. Is it over? See what the future brings. Thanks, Brent. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Mark.